So my boy Matt told another one. But this time he told an embarrassing moment that he hoped nobody found out. And like always, I can't have that. Oh, I got to go deep into the closet for this one. <laughs> Oh, I got to go 21 years into the closet. And I ain't never told nobody this story. This story is about one of my good friends and old teammates, Anthony Buchanan. Buki, I apologize right now. <laughs> I hate that you got to hear the truth over IG. <laughs> Oh, man. But before we get started, man, got to give a shout out to Luminous Logistics. So they already let me know that the care package that I'm going to have to send Anthony Buchanan after this video, they're going to take care of it. So thanks to my boys at Luminous Logistics. But man, so of course, I went to Washington State University. Go Cougs. Class of 2000 has some monsters. Uh, class of, graduating class of 2000 uh, from high school, Eric Coleman. Uh, Jason David, they both played and started as true freshmen, freshman all pac 10. I think JD was freshman all American, went on to play in the NFL. Carl Plama went on, on to play in the NFL. Calvin Armstrong went on to play in the NFL. Um, but the fastest one of the group was our boy Anthony Buchanan. He set the freshman record at the Mount Sac relays with like a 10 1 5. So he 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 just loved going fast. Oh, did he love going fast on the field and off. So off the field, he had a moped. Oh, he had a moped. So he would be just scooting around campus, just clean, like, hey, just like hella fast. And me and me and Buke, man, we was cool. So one weekend, Buke was like, hey, I'm about to go back home to Spokane. I'm gonna give you the moped. Oh, oh no, why did he do that? Oh, why did he do that? So I'm like, okay, mind you, I didn't have a license, didn't know how to drive, didn't know what to do or anything like that, but it's whatever, you know, it's just a little scooter, it's a moped. Shoot, all you gotta do is put the key in, flip it in, vroom, vroom, you out of there. So, Buki, he left Friday morning, left me the keys. So I'm like, yeah, where I'm going to go, man? Right after class on Friday, man, I'm about to get with it. So right after class, went back to the dorm, got the keys, got on the moped. I'm riding. I'm riding the Palouse like, hey, just yin, 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 yin. So then I'm coming down Stadium Way. So Stadium Way in the Palouse, we got our basketball stadium. We got our track and field. We got our football we got a football field and football operation building. So I start to drive a little bit and our dorm is on the right side. And there were these girls over there and they like said something. I looked and I was like, yeah, you see me. And I accidentally like revved it like room. And I did like this. And I said, oh, <laughs> oh no. So it just took off. And I'm like going like this back and forth. And the thing with a moped, you're supposed to just lean like this to turn oh but when you nervous oh when you see your life flash before your eyes you start trying to do everything oh i hit the curve and then boom the moped just came from up underneath me went right into this huge oak tree and just boom i was like oh shoot looked over all oh, them girls was <laughs> Oh, they were crying. Oh, they were crying. <laughs> oh, thank God there wasn't no YouTube, TikTok, or IG. Oh, they were crying. And I'm sitting there like, oh, shoot, what do I do now? So I'm like, okay, I'm sweating like this. That's Friday afternoon. Butte come back Sunday morning. And I'm like, oh, shoot, what do I do? And I'm like, all right, so Butte comes on Sunday. He's like, hey, Homs, you know, you got the keys. Oh, oh, I got the keys, but I don't got your moped anymore. He's like, man, Hums, what happened? I wanted to tell him the truth. I really did. Oh, but I did not. Oh, I said some white supremacists came down in a pickup truck and ran me off the road. Oh, oh, no. Why did you tell that man that? 
Oh, I told oh, I told him that lie. Oh, 21 years been sitting right on my chest. Oh. <laughs> Oh, I told him some skinheads came and ran your boy off the road. Oh, Buke immediately went to, he was Malcolm X. Hey, man, Hams, are you okay? Do you know what they look like? Man, let's go file a report. No, no, don't do that. No, don't do that. You do not file a report. No, I'm okay. I'm safe. He's like, Hams, you're safe? That's all that matters. So Buke just leaves it like that. <laughs> Oh, oh, I went to pray that night. I said, oh, Lord, oh, I have sinned. Oh, oh, I have sinned. Oh, oh, no. Oh, man. And the cold part about it is like I seen Bukey like five years later. And I was like, Buke, man, let me just go ahead and take care of my bill, man. I'm going to pay you for that moped. He was like, man, I'm just, don't worry, man. I got you. You know, he, he did like this to me. I said, oh, no, don't do that. So, Bukey, hey, after all these years, bro, I apologize. There were no white supremacists involved. Oh, oh no. Oh, it was just a young, a young whippersnapper trying to do too much on a moped. So, Man, I apologize, man. Oh, but it feels good to get that up off my chest. So, Luminous Logistics, y'all probably gonna have to send a moped over to my boy Buki. Oh, I apologize. I apologize. <laughs>